Our video today centers around predicting the outcome for the top five team rank teams ranked in America in the preseason, how they're going to do, what are their strengths and weaknesses. These teams are number one, Alabama, number two, Ohio State, number three, Florida, number four, Texas, and number five, Boise State. The first team that we will talk about is Alabama. Obviously, Alabama is a powerhouse and is looking forward to potentially repeating national champions, but... There are some key strength, strengths and weaknesses in this team. One big weakness is the secondary. Alabama is breaking in a new secondary this season, but their big strength is their offense. Heisman defender Mark Ingram is coming back, and he should have a breakout season. Greg McElroy also is very good. The four, the four big games that I have for Alabama this season are Arkansas, Penn State, Ole Miss, and Florida. I only have one loss to Alabama at, with an 11 and 1 record. The, this loss is to Arkansas. Arkansas has one of the best quarterbacks in the nation, Ryan Mallett, and going up against a weak secondary, this shootout should end in a shocking upset. Arkansas will win. My prediction for Alabama is also 11 and 1. However, I do think they will be able to beat Arkansas simply because their biggest weakness is in the passing game. Well, it is, but I think they'll be able to figure that out. Saban's a great coach, and I think he'll find a way. The game I'm most concerned about for them is in Week 7. It's at Ole Miss, with Jeremiah Masoli now walking on there to becoming the quarterback. I really like him. I think he's a great player. He was awesome at Oregon. And I really think that with him running that wild offense that they run down there, and Houston Nutt always finds ways to win games with his upsets, they can definitely contend to defeat Alabama, and I think they will in that game. The number two ranked team is Ohio State, and the Buckeyes are obviously their strengths would consist of Jim Tressel being the head coach and Terrell Pryor at quarterback, who's definitely in the Heisman race after his performance in the Rose Bowl last year. But Ohio State does have a few weaknesses. The biggest question, question mark, in my opinion, is at running back. Brandon Sane is just... I don't believe he has what it takes to be the big running back that they need him to be in order to win a national championship. So, that said, I still have Ohio State going 12-0. and Their big games are obviously Week 2 when they play Miami. Miami's a great team, which Corey Harris. But I think they'll be able to pull it off because Jim Trussell always wins the big games. Think back to the game they had against USC at home a couple of years ago. What was that a year ago? But... Week 7, they go at Wisconsin, and Week 12, at Iowa. Those are also two big games, since those are big, great teams in the Big Ten that are really looked over. I mean, they are very good. They did well last year, and they could definitely be a problem for them. But I think Ohio State, they seem to always win the Big Ten, and I think they will again this year. I agree that Ohio State is a very talented team, and I agree that they need to find a running back that is suitable to taking them to a national championship. With that, I do not think that the Buckeyes can go undefeated. In fact, I don't even think that they can go with a one-loss season. I predict them losing to the Miami Hurricanes in Week 2 because Shakur Harris is a winner. He will win this game on the road. And also, I have them losing to Wisconsin because John Clay is a very strong running back. And Wisconsin is returning 21 of 22 starters. Our next team is Florida. Florida, really the only strength that they have is Jeff Demps and their defense. Breaking in a new quarterback with John Brantley, I just don't think it's enough for them to stay up on the top. So I had them losing four games this season against Alabama, Georgia, LSU, and Florida State. I think Florida has a lot of question marks, especially at the quarterback position, and Demps is definitely the strength. But I don't think 8-4 and four will be their record. I think they go 10-2. and two. Urban Meyer is a great coach. He's proven himself, and they, they always, they're going to win 10 games. They definitely have trouble. Week 5 at Alabama is a definite loss. And their last game in Week 13 against Florida State at Florida State is definitely a big problem with Christian Ponder down there, quarterback, who's a big Heisman hopeful. I think Florida State will also beat them in. Week 12, they get Appalachian State at home, so watch out there. <laughs> but our third-ranked team, or fourth-ranked team, 
would be Texas. And the Longhorns losing Colt McCoy, obviously problems. He's He was the whole team, not the whole team, but a big part of the team. The quarterback's always the biggest role of the team. And Garrett Gilbert is going to have to really pick it up out there for them to have any shot to really contend for a national title or even Big 12 title. Oklahoma's got a lot of power coming in this year in the Big 12, and I see them actually winning the Big 12, which is why I have Texas at 11-1 and with their only loss. I think it'll be Week 5 when they play Oklahoma at home. But also watch out, Week 7 they go at Nebraska. I think they could lose that game too. If they beat Oklahoma, I think they lose that game. I don't think with one in Week 5 and one in Week 7, I think that there's no way they win them both, and most likely they lose Oklahoma and win Nebraska. For me, Texas, like you said, Colt McCoy was basically this entire team. Another key to Colt was his favorite receiver, Jordan Shipley, and he also left. So there's a lot of question marks at Texas, obviously. Garrett Gilbert, he sort of started filling Colt's shoes in the second half of that national title, but it obviously wasn't enough. I don't think that he'll be able to fully fill these shoes, and I have Texas going 9-3 and with losses to Oklahoma, Nebraska, and Texas A&M, who I think is a giant sleeper coming into this season. Our final team for this video is Boise State, who I have going 12-0. and Boise State will be faced with a, bit, a major test in Week 1 against Virginia Tech. But I really do believe in the Broncos this season. I mean, they really have deserved to go to the national title the last few years. They haven't gotten it. I think that this year is the year. I also think that a big game that most people don't see that will be that big is their second-to-last game of the season against Nevada. And Nevada is a powerful, off powerful offense. They almost pulled off the upset last season. I'd watch out for that game. Um, I also have Boise State going 12-0. and How can you not? They always win. It's what they do. But week one is against Virginia Tech, and although it's a neutral field, it's basically played right where Virginia Tech plays. It's basically a home field for Virginia Tech, so that's a huge problem for them. But they return 21 out of 22 starters. There's no way they're going to lose that game. They always win. And they always have those crafty plays. You think back to the Fiesta Bowl against Oklahoma. <laughs> that was great. But week four versus Oregon State could be a problem with the Roger brothers. Rogers brothers. But they probably win that game. I mean, they're such a powerhouse. And like you said, at Nevada, that's a trap game. But I think they come out on top in that game too. So Boise State 12-0. and And hopefully they can finally get some respect and maybe get to the national championship. Thank you for watching. Thank you.